After the Beatles stopped touring in the mid-1960s, Paul McCartney created Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, a new song about an Edwardian-era military band. The song inspired an entire album. Sgt. Pepper, the 1967 Beatles LP, is considered one of the greatest rock albums of all time. The movie based on it, featuring a cast of then-popular musicians, was a flop at the box office and remains notorious as one of the great fiascos of cinema. Like a box of candy left on the beach, this movie is a gooey, sugary mess, wrote a TV Guide reviewer in 1978. The Beatles decided to stop touring in 1966 due to the overwhelming pressures of Beatlemania. They were exhausted and had lost interest in being the Beatles. The SGT, Pepper's album allowed them to take creative liberties and hide behind an alter ego to channel their frustration. The 1978 movie was based on songs from the album and the Beatles' subsequent album, Abbey Road. In her New York Times review, Janet Maslin, one of the nation's most prominent movie critics at the time, described Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band as the ultimate multimedia mishmash, so diversified that it doesn't fully exist in any one medium at all. The musical numbers are strung together so mindlessly that the movie has the feel of an interminable variety show. Characters are named, invented or introduced to one another simply to provide excuses for the various songs. When whimsy gets to be this overbearing, it simply isn't whimsy anymore. Maslin admitted that there were three moments in the film that weren't bad. Steve Martin's rendition of Maxwell's Silver Hammer was completely unhinged and brought some humor to the otherwise humorless film. Billy Preston's energetic dance to Get Back made the other dancers look awkward in comparison. Aerosmith's rock version of Come Together brought a taste of the 60s to the movie. In the movie, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, the story is narrated by Mr. Kite, the mayor of Heartland. He gives the history of the band and how their music brought joy to the town. When the band leader dies, he leaves the band's magical instruments to the town, with the condition that they remain in Heartland. The instruments are stored in City Hall, topped with a magical weather vane that can predict good and bad fortune. The original bandleader left a musical legacy to his grandson Billy Shears, who revived Sgt. Pepper's band with his friends, the Hendersons. Dougie, Billy's jealous stepbrother, becomes the band's manager and is only interested in money. The group is offered a record deal in Hollywood by Crafty BD, and Billy reluctantly says goodbye to his girlfriend, Strawberry Fields, to go to the big city. BD tempts the band with drugs and promiscuity ultimately having them sign a bogus contract, while Billy takes up with another woman, Lucy, forgetting about Strawberry. The band enjoys sold-out shows and epic success. Every good story needs a villain, and in Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, that villain is Mr. Mustard. While the band is away, Mr. Mustard carries out a plan to steal the musical instruments from the city hall in Heartland. After the instruments are stolen, Mr. Mustard takes over the town, leading it into chaos and despair. The soundtrack for the cult classic Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band includes iconic songs such as With a Little Help from My Friends and Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Other tracks on the album include Good Morning Good Morning and Strawberry Fields Forever. The album also features the famous A Day in the Life and Come Together.
The cast included the BGs, Peter Frampton, Steve Martin, Frankie Howard, Paul Nicholas, Donald Pleasance, Sandy Farina, Diane Steinberg, Aerosmith, Alice Cooper, Earth, Wind and Fire, Billy Preston, George Burns, and Stargard. Strawberry escapes the chaos and informs Billy of what happened. They come up with a plan to retrieve the stolen instruments, but they are temporarily thwarted and lose the instruments again. As Strawberry is kidnapped, Billy and the band chase after in a hot air balloon. They race against time to stop FVB from taking over the world. A fight ensues, Strawberry sacrifices herself to save Billy, but miraculously comes back to life in the end. <laughs>